Hi, my friends. Today, we're going to take a trip to the ocean. The ocean is a really big body of very salty water where lots of sea creatures live. Let's dive in and learn about some of them. Do you know where we are? That's right. We are under the water. Let's see who lives down here. Who is it? Good job. It's a sea turtle. A sea turtle is a special type of turtle that can live under the ocean water. Who else do you see? That's called a jellyfish. A jellyfish has a very soft body and long tentacles that he can use to sting other animals in the ocean. Do you know what color this jellyfish is? That's right, he's pink. But jellyfish can come in lots of different colors. What do you see? I see lots of fish swimming in the ocean. I see yellow fish and blue fish. Do you know what sea creature that is? This is called a seahorse. Who is that? That's right, that's a crab. Crabs live on the bottom of the ocean floor. What color is the crab? Good job, the crab is red and he has pinchers. Uh-oh, who is that? It's a shark. Sharks can be very big, and sometimes they'll hunt other smaller animals. Watch out, fishies. Let's watch a video and learn a little bit more about the animals in the ocean. Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today as we take a trip to explore the strange and fascinating animals that call a coral reef home. A coral reef is where a lot of sea animals live. It's the very colorful thing you see on the bottom of the ocean. Let's start with an interesting bit of information. Did you know that 25% of the world's marine life is found on coral reefs? For example, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia has more than 1,500 types of fish living there. So a lot of ocean creatures live on this Coral Reef. That's what we call an incredible diversity of life. Today, we're going to see some of these coral reef residents and find out how they all live together to create this fascinating ecosystem. Let's learn about these sea animals' home. One of the first things we'll notice is that all the animals here can either be really tiny, like this little shrimp, do you know what kind of sea animal that is? He's very small. He's called a shrimp. And he lives on the coral reef too. Or as gigantic as the largest fish in the world, the whale shark. This animal is very big. This is a whale shark. He is much bigger bigger than the tiny little shrimp. Almost two-thirds of them are active during the day, which means they are diurnal. Diurnal is a special word, meaning that these animals are awake during the daytime. The other one-third usually come 
out at night, making them nocturnal. Nocturnal means they are awake at night time. Do you remember what this sea animal is called? That's right. This is another jellyfish. He has a very soft body, and this one looks blue. At first place, life on a coral reef can look chaotic and full of emotion. In a single instant, one creature may narrowly miss becoming a meal for a predator, and another may have to protect its territory against the threat. These fish live in something called an anemone. That's another home where fish and other sea creatures live. Schools of fish run back and forth with no apparent purpose. A school of fish is a big group of fish. Sometimes they like to travel and live together. Gradually, we see that there is actually some order and purpose to the chaos. The most important job for all of the animals is to keep from becoming a meal for one of the many predators. The old Do you know what animal that is? Good job, that's a big shark. The only ones who don't have to worry about being eaten are those at the top of the food chain, the apex predators. Sharks are a good example of an apex predator because their large size and aggressive hunting patterns mean they have no natural enemies to worry about. Sharks are some of the bigger sea creatures in the ocean. Sometimes they eat some of the smaller sea creatures. Did you have fun in the ocean? Thanks for joining me.